Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're we'll reviewing this Subaru WRX. It's basically a WRX Raptor. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Doug Smith Dodge Ram here in American Fork, Utah, for some time with this WRX. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. Also, I'll include a link to my carbine guide. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.4 liter flat four cylinder that goes through a six speed manual transmission. Power outputs are 271 horsepower and then 258 pound feet of torque. Now, before I move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, let me tell you, I have a huge soft spot for these off-road WRX slash STI builds because they're just so cool. So first off, you guys can see we've got this little kind of like crash bar up front that holds the lights, which, I mean, you've got dual use, right? If you've got you to push stuff aside, then you got that. And then you also have some light pods. I love how they've added a little recovery point there on the front end. And I think this is the first time I've reviewed a new body style WRX with an off-road build like this. Now, I don't think they actually raised the suspension on this car. It looks like it's pretty much stock ride height, which the new WRX does have a little bit more wheel travel because they try to make it more rally inspired. That's why they've got the big chunky fender flares. But anyways, we've got these Sparco <laughs> racing wheels. Um, they are, you know, pretty, you know, normal size for an off-roader, 17 inch wheels. Now the tires aren't super wide. Uh, they're Mazda Miata level of width, 215 millimeters, but you've got a decent amount of sidewall on the tire. The rating is 60 um, they are all-terrain tires. So for a car that might just be driving down dirt roads and everything, it's more than enough tire and it makes the car look so cool. Look at that. I think that's fun. And then popping around to the back, everything looks pretty normal until you pop down here to the exhaust. And yeah, <laughs> you see that monstrosity. It'll be interesting to hear what that sounds like. And it looks like this is some protection. So I don't know how much they actually added underneath the car in terms of extra protection, but they at least have it here in the back, which again is practical if you're actually gonna be taking this off-road. Crazy to see that. And then inside is pretty normal uh, for a WRX. You've got like a lot of soft touch trim there. You've got the cloth seats here and popping in, starter up. Got the normal gauge cluster, all of that. Big new infotainment system. And this one is a manual. It's not a lame old CVT. So we got that going for us. Um, but yeah, there's not much else to go over. It's just the new WRX interior and it's got one of these. Now these new WRXs have been holding their value pretty darn well. Um, this is a little bit under $30,000 for the selling price and it's got about 30-ish thousand miles on the odometer. So yeah, I think they've been doing pretty well. Anyways, let's drive it. Let us set off in this off-road WRX. Always fun when they do builds like this, I think. Because <laughs> this is not like a traditional off-roader, right? And the new WRX, another thing about it is that they've, turn this down so it's not so loud. Uh, the new WRX is kind of more tuned towards that kind of rally driving. That's why they, like I said, they added the cladding on the outside. And then the suspension's way squishier than before. Which I think is really cool. Um, I've been thinking about getting like a more fuel economy conscious daily driver and still not sold on the idea. But I've been, I've been thinking about it. And this is one of those ones that could work because it's all wheel drive and still a uh, fun to drive. It's one of the things is it's kind of, uh, as a car person, it's kind of hard to have a daily driver that's just completely soulless, like a uh, Prius, for example. But yeah, seats are pretty comfortable in this. And the interior on these new WRX is actually pretty nice uh, overall for the, I mean, this is a base model for the price point, especially. It's pretty nice. And I guess we'll see the <laughs> damping there. Manual in these new WRXs, by the way, is really, really slick. It's easy to use. It's a little bit longer with the throws. 
just kind of playing with it here a little bit. A little bit longer with the throws, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But the I think the thing that I like the most about the new WRX is the suspension. It's just really, really comfortable for a sporty car like this. Most of these sporty cars, you go over bumps and everything, they're just so out of whack, so uncomfortable. But this, it seems like, there you go, a little bump. Seems like it's perfectly at home. And this has good power too. Ooh, it's got an air intake. Didn't know that, listen to that. Love that turbo noise. Gotta, gotta love that turbo noise. Don't think we, yeah, we, that van's pretty far behind us. See what the acceleration's like. Ooh, yeah, that's fun. Does the, does the little turbo blow off when you really get into it? That's nice, that's fun. That's a fun experience. And that's not a super expensive mod. <laughs> it's just uh, to get a to get a car to vent to the air like that. Not that not that difficult. Yeah, and the rev matching these WRXs is so simple. So, yeah, I think it's I think it's a pretty fun car to drive, and it's easy to drive too. Let's see this little truck will let yeah the truck will let me over. Thank you, sir. See, so yeah, overall, um, this build I think is a I think it's a pretty cool build because you don't really concede anything with this. This is going to be better off road than a stock WRX with the tires and the bash plate and all of that stuff. But then it's also still very daily drivable on road. Fun to drive at that, and the handling's still good. I mean, this isn't the best show of handling, but you know it 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 still handles pretty darn flat. And the other thing is you can actually go through the gears with this because it's it's fast enough to be fun, but it's not so fast that, boom, illegal, right? I just reviewed a Hellcat before this and that that's definitely like that where it's like, illegal. <laughs> this, you can actually go through the gears a little bit and have a little bit of fun with it and still be able to make it home and not uh, in hand, well, I guess you wouldn't make it home. You could, well, it, would, it, would, it would be home. You can make it to your actual house instead of your new house where you're led to your new house in handcuffs, right? So yeah, overall, I think, it's, I think it's a cool build and I really do like this new WRX platform. I've seen a lot of cool builds. Uh, I've seen people get really good power out of this engine reliably. I mean, it's crazy, like the previous gen WRX and STI, my goodness, you had to, you had to pump enough money to make the US national debt look like child's play just to get those things to produce 400 horsepower. But these new WRXs, I mean, chip tune, exhaust, air intake, boom, you're done, 400 horsepower. So it's a brave new world. Let me know what you guys think about this off-road build, but I think it's pretty fun, it's fun to drive.